pop over to a PowerPoint. That way there, we'll talk about an introduction to cryptocurrency. So I've been enrolled for crypto for quite a long time and I love introducing the concept of cryptocurrency to people. What we'll go through tonight is what's happening to my money. Will I be using a cryptocurrency? What are CBDCs? This is a good subject to learn about. And where, how, and why should I buy crypto? So I'm gonna go through those things really quickly with you tonight and just explain a little bit about cryptocurrency and how it may have a large impact in the way that you transact your currency and wealth creation into the future. My name's Andrew Squalari. I'm a digital asset strategist. I've been involved with cryptocurrency for five years, just over five years now. I've been involved with this Daxi platform for the last three years since its inception. I love the Daxi community feel and what we're doing with Daxi. And um, it's done me very well with cryptocurrency and I use the knowledge that I've gained and the, the success that I've gained just to help you understand more about cryptocurrency. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, investment advice and trading advice. Make sure you conduct your own due diligence and consult a financial advisor before making any investment decision one word of warning though, if you're asking an advisor advice, making sure that they do have cryptocurrency. It's pointless asking anyone advice on anything that they do not hold or understand fully themselves because they will have a misconception of what you are looking for. Now the primary thing that we all should be looking at is types of income. I think most of us on, on the webinar tonight, most people watching the recording, they're specialists at active income, exchanging one hour of our life for an amount of money. Some people get 20 bucks now, some people get $5,000 now. I think the CEO of uh, Rio Tinto gets $14,000 now. That seems fair, doesn't it? But anyway, we won't go there. And a lot of companies promise residual income, which a lot of people say, oh, we're chasing residual income. Well, I don't chase residual income or even active income. What I look for is passive income. Passive income is money making money. So while I'm having my breakfast, while I'm having a sleep, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the income that I've put into some type of growth mechanism is growing in value and that passive income, that capital gain is adding value to my long-term wealth strategy. So we're gonna talk a lot about active, residual and primarily passive income generation tonight. Now, first question is what's happening to my money? Well, my money is your money as well. So classic wealth is really something that we've been doing really well in Australia with. So for the last 30 years up until today, today we had an announcement that we are officially in a recession. Well, a couple months of a recession turns into de depression. We've had our biggest drop in um, economy growth since World War II. And when there's been no shots fired, nothing, just the government's made a policy out, you'll stay at home. It's really had a super negative effect on our economy. So shares at the moment are going crazy. A lot of governments are pouring money into the markets, pouring money into banks, and that money is going into the share market. At the present time, unfortunately for the people living in Melbourne and Sydney, they're exiting Melbourne and Sydney in droves right now. We all can work from home where a lot of us can work from home with computers and Zoom like we are doing tonight. So we're finding a lot of people in that Sydney and Melbourne area are exiting the cities really fast. They're moving into rural areas with good internet and they're working from home in those areas. So the property market in those rural areas is going to boom for a little while. The property market in the bigger cities is gonna crash quite a bit. And um, after next year, when we have the real income um, potential of jobs, start to make um, a reality in the economy, property is going to have it, have it hit as well. And of course, cash deposits don't return any money more. You're under, under a quarter of a percent. Um, your cash rates, if you've got money growing in the bank, it's not growing anywhere. It's actually going backwards with um, inflation and taxes. So anything that you have in the bank is going backwards in value, especially with quantitative easing, it's making all that worse. So the classic ways that we've enjoyed over the last 30 years has now had a very big hit. Now, the next question I'd like to ask, will I be using a cryptocurrency? Now, a lot of people have no idea about cryptocurrency. They don't think it's real. They think it's a scam. They, um, they have no idea of the practicalities of it, the growth, whether it's safe or not. Well, you know what? Visa thinks it's safe. 
one of the biggest payment providers on the planet thinks cryptocurrency is the way to go. On top of that, MasterCard is another big payment provider. They think cryptocurrency is the way to go. Stripe, another big payment platform. Alipay, one of the biggest payment platforms in, in Asia, as well as WePay as well. They're huge Asian payment systems. On top of that, you've got Union Pay, which is the largest credit card, debit card provider in the world. Um, they're starting to move over to cryptocurrency as well. So Fidelity, one of the biggest mutual funds is investing heavily in cryptocurrency as is Grayscale Investments. And the last one, the biggest one is BlackRock. All these major financial institutions all believe cryptocurrency is going to play a major part in how they make money into the future, how they use currency into the future. So if all these big companies think cryptocurrency has a future, I think I'll be using cryptocurrency for quite a long time yet. And if you're looking at it for the first time, your opinion doesn't really matter that much compared to what these large financial institutions are doing in cryptocurrency. They are pumping literally billions and trillions of dollars over the next five to 10 years into cryptocurrency. And we are just taking the opportunity of a lifetime by getting involved at the start of it all. Now, the other thing is these things called CBDC. So central bank digital currencies. What is a central bank digital currency? Now, Bitcoin, as you can see by the logo behind me, Bitcoin is a decentralized currency. It's available all over the world. It's got to go through an exchange to buy it and you can keep it on your, on your person in, a, in a, what they call a nano ledger or a treasure. It's like a little USB device. You can store it yourself or you can keep it on an exchange. These central bank digital currencies are what countries are actually replacing their national currencies with. So China and America have already released theirs. They've already got approvals to go. Korea's got a trial plan and France is gonna do theirs as well. On top of these countries here, we've got Canada and also the Great Britain have announced they're going to go over to central bank digital currencies. And of course our home Australia is going over to it as well. On top of that, you've got Singapore, You've got the US now have legislative approval for the banks to store, sell and buy cryptocurrencies because they're bringing out their central bank coin on the 1st of January next year. Of course, we have China, China's digital currency that's already been issued to seven of their largest provinces, one including Hong Kong. Now, Hong Kong and China don't have a very good relationship, even though Hong Kong is part of China. Now, this is a front page newspaper article in Hong Kong. They're saying that people in Hong Kong should buy Bitcoin. Now, one thing to understand about these central bank digital currencies, they're 100% trackable, traceable, and controllable. Now, I think everyone here would really love to have a bit more freedom. So central bank coins do take away your freedom, right? Because they control your currency and your access to currency. Whereas the decentralized coins like I'm talking about tonight, they are actively free and give you the ability to transact at your will with anyone that you choose to, as long as it's done in an illegal manner. Now, the problem with cryptocurrencies is, oh my God, there's 6,000 plus choices out of all these coins in here. Which one are you going to choose? Which one's going to win? Which one's going to lose? There's six and a half thousand different cryptocurrencies out there that you can choose from. And on top of these particular currencies, there's a new system moving into world called decentralized finance so you can actually loan cryptocurrency and pay an interest rate just like you can with the bank so there's another whole new area of traditional finance that's being shifted over to cryptocurrency so literally there will be hundreds of thousands of different cryptocurrencies that you have access to into the future now if you don't know what you're talking about with cryptocurrency it's actually going to be quite risky for you to enter the marketplace as a new person so we really like people to talk about the blue chip coins, which I'll talk about soon. Now this is the Bitcoin, Bitcoin lifetime graph. So this is, Bitcoin started back in 20, 2009, way, way back here. So this is only going, the records only go to January 13, 2013. So the first baby boom was back in 2014. Then we have this, an awakening boom that happened in 2017, right up to Christmas, 2017. And now we're living through this adoption boom. So what happened in the baby boom, that little graph that we just looked at, the little one down here, 
it was actually 9,000% growth. Now, would any of you guys got involved with it back then? I know I would never. It was way too risky for me to get involved then, but it grew 9,000%. So this awakening boom, which was back in 2017, the total market cap went up 4,293%. It exploded back then. It was very risky for people to get involved with cryptocurrency because we didn't really know where this was going. And of course, Bitcoin went quite a lot itself as well. So it went nearly 2,000% in that year. So... Then again, it was a bit risky to get involved with cryptocurrency. We didn't know if this was going to win. But we've got this adoption boom happening this year. This is where we are right now. So the total market caps of all cryptocurrencies added up since our bottom back in March, when all the world's markets went down 30% or more, the cryptocurrency um, financial area has grown 170%. And Bitcoin has gone 186%, probably a bit higher by now, but it has grown quite a lot in the last few months. Now, this is real money. This is money that could have been in your bank account that you've shifted over to cryptocurrency and it's grown that much. Now, I'm not too sure for how much money you've grown in your bank now, usually a quarter percent or less, but this is where I've converted all my cash assets over to cryptocurrency and I've enjoyed some of the very good growth potential that's involved with cryptocurrency since I've converted my money from the banks over to cryptocurrency. So we're just switching the place that we store our money. Now, three years ago, I got introduced to the Daxi Global platform. Daxi Global was a faster, simpler, and a lot friendlier way of actually getting involved with cryptocurrency. It's actually designed for retail investors. Now, the Daxi Global Exchange is the world's first retail crypto exchange. It's designed for normal people who don't like tech, who have to use tech, that don't want to be traders, they just want to put money into something and sit about, sit there and let it grow in value. So the Daxi Global Finance ecosystem is going to grow to 100 different countries over the next five years. So there's a lot of people that are going to like a simple, easy platform to get involved with. That's not too scary, not too hard to understand and use. So a lot of people around the world like this. A lot of people are going to join the Daxi exchange system. So we're growing out of Australia first and the UK next, then we're gonna license out the rest of the world. We're listing lots and lots of new coins on here that are to do with crowd finance. Now I'm not gonna talk about the crowd finance ecosystem here because that's another video altogether, but the crowd financing area that Daxi offers is not a pool. It's individual ownership of a particular own, um, opportunity. A lot of the DeFi projects are all pooled. So someone is looking after your money. Someone is paying for your coins to do something for you on your behalf. Whereas Daxi is giving you some knowledge, some learning, some confidence, so you can make a smart decision to actually own individually your own opportunities. So we are going to expand that later on as well. Now, Daxi offers two programs. One of the programs is a DAC pack program. So there's two things you can purchase. It's 100% DAC coins, which is our currency on our exchange. So it's a common currency that's going to interlink 100 different exchanges all over the world. That currency can be used for crowd financing in all those countries, for crowd lending, or sending value between each other. So it can be used as a currency on our exchange network, but it's all part of the DAXI global ecosystem. We've got that growth to 100 countries in the next few years and it's a minimum of a hundred Australian dollars to get involved so anyone can get involved with cryptocurrency most people that I talk to don't put a hundred dollars into cryptocurrency because you know it's really just an entry point so no one can have an excuse not to get some and just get in the game the average in Australia is six thousand dollars if you switched over to a DAC pack now you get 20 percent more DAC coins on top and if you purchase more than a thousand dollars and you held onto those coins for 180 days, you'd get an additional 50% more coins in your account at the end of the 180 days. So that means that this coin has the greatest growth potential for you to develop wealth in the Daxi ecosystem. The other program that Daxi has is the Daxi Bundle Program. So we've got two programs, the DAC Pack Program and the Bundle Program. 
The DAC, the bundle program is a portfolio of three blue chip coins plus the DAC coin. So you're getting some Bitcoin, some Ethereum, some Litecoin, and of course some exchange called, called the DAC coin. These blue chip coins that we have here, the blue chips is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. They're blue chips because they're traded by the larger institutions and retailers really want to accept them because they know that the value of these coins are going up. The Daxi bundle is the simplest and fastest way to switch to minimize your risk and maximize your return. A lot of people now are looking at the bundle program for their superannuation because you are getting a diverse portfolio. Again, it's a minimum of $100. The average is $6,000. The average for self-managed super funds is over $20,000 now. So if you switched over to a bundle, you'd receive an additional 10% worth of DAC coins at purchase time as well. So again, you're actually making 10% extra plus the growth of the coins in the next however long you hold the coins. So the coins are going up in value. How to buy is quite simple. So if you don't have an exchange account, you just open up an exchange account. We do have an affiliate program, which I can just explain in another program. You would fill out these affiliate links, which is an order form notifying Daxi that you are purchasing coins. So get those affiliate links off the person that referred you to this video. You select a bundle or a DAC pack. You fill out the form, you put in whatever amount of money you want there. Minimum's 100, but you can put in any amount of money you choose there. And again, you get the 20% up to 70% extra coins by doing that in a DAC pack. The bundle's 10% extra. You fill out the order form. So in this account type, there's individual, there's corporate, there's trust, and there's also self-managed super funds. The individual one takes about five, to five seconds to verify. It's very, very quick. The corporate and trust and self-managed super funds, you do need to provide additional KYC requirements for that. So your trust deed, your ABN, your TFN, and all those details need to be sent to Daxley because it is its own entity and needs to be independently verified. You put your name, first name, last name, your mobile phone. This is really important because we do demand two-factor authentication on all accounts now. So making sure that you've got Google Authenticator or some type of authenticator on your phone. So that gives you an extra layer of security on top of what Daxi offers already. Put in the email address that you want associated with your account. If it's your secondary funding or any further fundings, this area can be left blank. If you're using someone's affiliate links, there will be a code in there. Leave that in there. I'm not a robot and submit. Daxi will send you the bank account details and a unique reference code. You put that as the transaction on your, on your funding to, um, in Australia, it's called Count One Proprietary Limited. Send your money to Daxi. Once Daxi receives your money and your account is verified, you'll get your portfolio loaded with your coins and now you've switched over from Australian dollars to cryptocurrency and you are now protected from what's happening in the economy right now. You've got your Aussie dollars growing again instead of going backwards. You've taken control of your finances and that's very, very exciting and very opportunistic with what's happening right now. Timing, time waits for no one. You know, every day I get more excited about what's happening in cryptocurrency because the bigger the disruption, the bigger opportunity. I don't think there's ever been a time in history that we've had no any more social or economic disruptions as what's happening right now. Everyone that I talk to really is actively looking for income generation, whether it's active, residual or passive. Daxi does offer all three different types of income generation. The primary one that I was looking at was always passive, but I do understand with what's happening in the economy now, a lot of people are looking for active because they've lost their jobs. They're going to have their job keeper reduced very soon and next year that job keeper is going. And that is when the economy is going to tank and we are in for a very interesting time through 2021 and beyond for quite a number of years. If you study finances, back in 1987, we had a 70% reset in the, in the stock market. And in 20, uh, to that, um, was it 1997 that happened and 2002 was when the um, housing market really tanked and we're all paying 16 to 21% interest on home loans. So things can repeat. I'm not saying they will, but we are in for some really big troubles next year. And the only way that I feel that you can protect yourself is with precious metals and cryptocurrency. 
cryptocurrency being the better option because it's more transportable, easy to use, and the fees and transactions are a lot easier than any other form of currency generation. Thank you for your learning and your openness to learn. You need to plan for the future, but take action now. If you want any more information, go to learn.daxia.com. There's a great learning platform there to teach you a little bit of cryptocurrency. Of course, the Daxia Global Facebook chase and YouTube channels. And also my, also my personal website, allthingsrenewable.com.au. All the videos I do, I upload on there and I keep that fresh and active from what I've been doing, teaching people to get involved with cryptocurrency. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to catching up with you on a webinar into the future. It's really good to um, help people understand what's going on in cryptocurrency. If you're watching this as a recording, please get back to the person that introduced you to cryptocurrency. Talk about it a bit longer. Get some more confidence. Get involved. Fill out their links. Open up your account. And congratulations. You can be owning some cryptocurrency very soon as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.